Hi guys, welcome again to my channel and to the already the fourth installment of my Halloween marathon. Uh, today we have again a, a Magic Witch House box, but this one is themed Shemaine. So yeah, really curious about this one. It's quite heavy too. So yeah. I uh, can't wait to unbox it, but before we do that, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to Quill Scene. My name is Megan. If you like things that have to do with magic, with uh, Harry Potter, with Disney, with Marvel, with Star Wars, with DC, with anything geeky really, um, with reading, with writing, um, with books, with all this sort of stuff, then you're in the right place. Make sure to click on the magical subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell because in that way you'll always get a notification whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, Shemaine has been over for two weeks now, but I still have this box to unbox, so let's go! So number four in my Halloween marathon, uh, it's more a marathon for me than it is for you guys because um, since editing, well filming, editing and I'm taking pictures of everything and stuff like that, it takes a lot of time, I won't be able to um, upload the videos all at once or every other day or something like that, though I will try my best. Um, I'm also very aware that um, Halloween has passed for about two weeks right now. Um, but I can explain because uh, on Halloween itself I'm always um, on an event uh, to sell my books. Um, so yeah, on Halloween itself it's quite hard to, you know, um, make content for YouTube for me. Um, but I'm from uh, opinion that you can celebrate Halloween actually in November, like the, the weeks of November too. Um, so that's why I'm also a bit late, but also I had to wait till all my boxes arrived because I had, I think, six boxes out uh, that had something to do with Halloween. Um, and the last one, which was the geekier one, came in, I think, around the 8th of November. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's why also I'm now doing a marathon of, yeah, making all my videos at once in one day um, so you will see me wearing the same outfit which is also a nice red line throughout the videos um, so yeah that's what I call my Halloween marathon slash Halloween challenge um, for this one we have uh, another box of Magic Witch House Magic Witch House is a subscription box based in Poland um, and they do one-off boxes, so you always have to check uh, their website every month. I will link it down below. I think for now it's only in Polish, but the boxes are also in English. So if you just put Google uh, on translate, then it should work. Uh, at least that's how I do it. Um, we already unboxed uh, the previous video from our Halloween marathon was... Um, the Halloween box from Magical Suitcase, uh, not Magical Suitcase, Magic Witch House. Um, that was the Halloween large box and that was all about like Halloween decoration and to prepare for a Halloween party. Um, this one is our Shemaine box, so it's more like, I hope, more like a witchy take on Halloween, uh, since I'm also a practicing witch. So um, let's quickly go for a sneak peek. So we have our beautiful witch, uh, Magic Witch House box and when we open it we see paper, wiggly worms, fun confetti and underneath are all sorts of items hiding. So just as in the Halloween box uh, previously that is that you can see in my um, previous video, um, there are some fun confetti and Halloween treasures hidden beneath uh, the wormies on top. So we have like um, our spider rings that were, I think two or three of them were hiding between the wormies. And then we had like fun confetti, like again, the witch riding the broom and um, the pumpkin. And we had also, again, the spiders. But we also had, but there was only one of these in there, like a little spider web, which is very pretty, very pretty. Um, yes, I am one of those people that would, um, that comes then through the wormies to get everything out. Um, 
I save them in the Oogie Boogie Box and Dice. Um, part from a, a previous unboxing, the Tim Burton one. I don't think that's online yet when this one comes on. Um, but actually this one was filled with like jelly worms. Um, but uh, candy worms. Uh, but my brother of course ate those and I got the empty... Um, the empty um, pot back, so now I can store my uh, Halloween confetti in there. So that's that. Let's go for our uh, items. So on top we of course have a white paper that is our spoil card. I'm not going to look at that just yet. Um, we also have this little card um, that is a thank you note from Daria who runs Magic Witch House for uh, to thank you for your purchase and she also wrote Happy Halloween on there so um, that's always a nice touch then we also have in uh, yeah the spirit of Halloween I also found another little confetti spider so I'm going to put that quickly in my pot before I lose it um, we have again the candy caramels um, it's not just because this is a Halloween box that they put uh, those in there um, these usually come with every box as a little extra uh, to enjoy your unboxing more I just put them in the basket with all the edible stuff for my brother he loves those uh, and then we have lots of items to go for hmm let's go for the tea first so we have a bag of tea with a beautiful label and it says blessed chemin uh, nettle rose peel uh, lemon peel papaya orange apple chamomile lemongrass and sugar or orgies no clue what that is um, again I don't drink tea um, my mom has started to drink tea lately and uh, my cousins and my friends drink tea too so uh, this will be going in our tea stash and yeah, we'll see who will drink it. Um, I love the little label. Um, I can see myself being a witch like that <laughs> because yeah, I'm a practicing witch, so. Um, but sadly, no, th I don't drink tea, but still, we don't throw them out or anything. We just, either way, my mom drinks them now or I give them away. Um, but yeah, it does sound like a nice combination too, like nettle, rose peel, Papaya, orange, apple, lemon peel, chamomile, lemongrass. So it's more like, um, because chamomile, that's good to, you know, calm your nerves and get calm. And um, I think chamomile is also one of the teas that you can drink to um, sleep better. So, yeah. Uh, next item. Let's go for you. We have a little box with a very cute label on it. And it says soy wax. Look at that cute label. So I guess these are like wax molds. Oh, you are cute. So there are two wax molds in there. We have, ooh, ah, oh, pumpkin spice latte. Oh. We have a, a creepy jack o' lantern and a fun little bat. And they smell amazing. It's really, they smell like, um, Again, pumpkin spice latte. Um, it's very Halloween-y. It's felt very fall-like. Um, I love the little box they came in. I love the little label in there, the shapes of them. So yeah, I'm a sucker for wax melts and wax burners and all that sort of stuff. So great start to the box so far. Ooh, you are pretty. We have another uh, canvas, uh, canvas, sorry, um, with a gorgeous witchy drawing. Oh, I love this one. This one will go in my witch room when it's done. So uh, we have the witch in question, like with a cauldron that's bubbling. And then we have all sorts of ingredients like mushrooms and leaves and flowers. And in her hair, she has like antlers growing. And we see gemstones and stars and everything. Oh, this is beautiful. And as usual, there is also on the back a little hook uh, that comes with it. So you can, um, if you want to hang it, you can easily put it on here on the wood of the canvas. And then you can hang it if you want. Oh, this one is pretty. I love it. Really, really beautiful 
piece of art. Then underneath is another postcard hiding. Oh! And this one contains actually my favorite little uh, Halloween poem. So we have a witch striding along with her black cat uh, surrounded by bats. She holds this jack-o'-lantern. She has a broom that follows her too. And then we have a little um, poem. And this one is my favorite actually because it's called uh, it reads, when witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers, this near Halloween. Um, fun fact, uh, as I said before, uh, on Halloween I usually go to an event um, where I sell my books. And um, on our stall, um, that's not just me who's there, but also some other uh, colleagues of mine that are also writers. And uh, this year I had um, given them as like a Halloween treat, like this spooky pants that looked like a bloody uh, murder weapon like there was like a bloody hook and a bloody axe and um, a bloody maze and stuff like that and um, I had also made little cards um, uh, to thank them to you know spend their Halloween with us on the Halloween event and then I had also written this little verse there um, so yeah this one is one of my favorites so really happy that I got it in a beautiful postcard as well now too. Will end up on my um, magnet board for sure. And uh, what else do we have? We have something wrapped in beautiful Lila um, tissue paper and we have a beautiful sticker again that says trick or treat. No, it says no tricks, it just treats. So let's open you up. Oh, I think I know what it is. It kind of feels like uh, another mini broom. Oh no, it's not a mini broom. Ooh, oh, you are cool. It's a smudge stick. So it's um, a stick full of dried herbs that you can light up and then cleanse the air with. So yeah, really cool. A smudge stick. Usually it's... Um, like sage leaves, uh, but I think in this one you can also see chamomile flowers and lavender and stuff like that. So yeah. Ooh, it smells nice. It really smells like lavender. So I'm pretty sure it's um, there's lavender in there. I'm going to roll you back so that I don't throw herbs all over the ground, but yeah. Nice little smudge stick, um, also handy on Halloween because then um, if you believe uh, the lore um, on the night of Halloween the veil between the living world, world and the, the um, underworld is on its thinnest so then the spirits, the deceased spirits can travel back to the living world uh, easier so um, by for example, smudging your house, you can protect yourself from evil spirits coming to visit. Um, at least that's how the lore goes. Um, so really fun, re very original and useful item that I for sure will use. I'm already looking um, into uh, my box for what I'm going to pick next. Yes. Ooh, you are pretty. What are... Ooh. A very shiny beautiful box and on the back it says this this is a fortune teller hand mirror hmm. and let's see Ooh. Ooh. okay guys I'm a sucker for mirrors okay I, I so like those vintage like mirrors and this one is just gorgeous and we of course have, and now you can see the camera, hi! Um, so we have like beautiful details, we have um, moons, we have dirt eye, um, we have um, stars and everything on there. We have around the um, mirror, we have uh, the zodiac signs and on the back uh, we have like the moon phases and again the zodiac signs. So yeah, really, really cool. Um, how is this? I'm not going to put it with uh, the mirror in front because that would glare too much. Um, how is this used? Um, there is, um, well, when you think of fortune telling, you can go, go, of course, for the traditional things like tarot cards and scrying and the um, glass orb ball. 
uh, but you can also use mirrors to um, gaze into the future. Um, I myself haven't used, I haven't done that one yet um, because I usually just use tarot cards or oracle cards. Um, but yeah, now I can try it out too with this cool flashy mirror. So yeah, really, really happy with this one. Really fun item. Ooh, what else do we have? What else do we have? Oh, you are pretty. Oops. I think you are a bit broke. What are you? Oh, that's fun. But I think mine is a bit broke. But I think I can fix it. Whoops. So, yeah. There's a little piece that broke off. But I'm pretty sure that I can glue it back in place. But this is like a stone ceramic uh, witch's hat. And as you can see, it broke a little piece off. Um, but I can think I can easily glue it back in place. And when I do so, you see there is like a little slit uh, between uh, the, the um, tip of the hat. And that's actually for uh, to place like a name sign. Uh, so when you have, for example, a party that you can, um, yeah, label the seats. So yeah, that's really cute. Sadly, mine is a bit broken, but again, I can fix it. A little bit of glue does wonders. So uh, I'm going to put you there very carefully. Let's go for the biggest item. This is what filled up the box. It doesn't look like a sweater or a t-shirt. It kind of looks either like a very big tablecloth or maybe a blanket, so I'm curious because we never got a blanket before in boxes like this. It's a blanket because it's like this very soft thing. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, so uh, it is a blanket. And the drawing on it is actually like the promo picture that they used for this box. Now I have to see. Oh my god. It's a one person blanket and it's like a really thick one. Because it has like, um, yeah, it's double stitched. And it says, Blast Chemaine. Now I'm going to stand up because otherwise you guys can't see it. So, blessed Chemin, and then we have a very beautiful drawing of a witch. Oh, I love this one. And she's holding, look, she's holding a little black cat with green eyes. I have a cat like that too. My um, boo is, is like, I normally always dreamed of a black cat with blue eyes. Um, but Boo, um, as all kittens at the start, had blue eyes, but then they changed to green. But actually, I find green very beautiful too uh, in a cat. So this one is a little Boo. Oh, if, if my brother sees this, see this, sees this, he will hug this blanket because it has his little baby Boo on there. Oh, but look how pretty. And again, this was the drawing that uh, they used uh, for promo pictures for this box. I can't believe they put a blanket in here. And again, as I said, it's a very thick blanket. It's made out of fleece. So uh, it's not only good for the um, fall nights, but also for the cold winter nights that are coming. And I think I'm going just to drape it now over my, um, over my legs and keep it like this. Ooh, nice and warm, <laughs> nice and warm. Uh, we still have some items to go. Going to, sorry for the crunching. Going to put our uh, tissue paper aside already. Um, so we have still a few items left to go. We have something else wrapped in paper. Let's take a quick look. Ooh. We have a ritual oil with a dripper. Very, very pretty. Let's see if we can smell without... Ooh, it smells very citrusy. So, um, yeah, I like the smell. 
So uh, ritual oils you can use in spell work, in ritual work of course. Um, you can add them to um, your um, wax burners or well, essential oil burners. And I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but in the bottle itself is not only the oil but also some herbs to scent the oil. So yeah, really really nice. Um, yeah, item and I love the fact that it came like with like this dripper uh, I'm not going to pull it out entirely because then um, my new favorite blanket will be ruined I know myself so yeah very nice what else do we have Ooh. in their previous box they also added a badge with uh, the pumpkin with happy Halloween uh, I think this one will be even more my favorite because it is a spell book with witch's hat and candles and flowers and everything. Oh, this is so me. This is so me. Like, this badge would be on my pen case for sure back in high school and even in college. So, um, yeah, this one will get used a lot. I love this one. Really, really cool. I love the the designs of of um, the items. So not just the item itself, but also like the artwork on it, like the artwork on the blanket and the artwork um, in the labels on the tea and even on the label that came on the box with the with the wax melts, um, the the drawing on um, the canvas, uh, the the yeah artwork on the postcard and now on the badge so yeah really really cool uh items we have another thing wrapped in paper and this is called forest incense forest blend resin Ooh. so i guess you are again yes oh yeah felt it smells very musky and with the hint of uh, pine wood. Ooh. So it is um, a bottle, well, yeah, a jar, uh, filled with resin um, incense. Resin incense is actually um, the purest form, I think, um, incense comes in. We all know the incense, incense cones and the incense sticks. Um, so this is resin incense. You have to put this in a fireproof dish. And then add like a charcoal disc to it um, and then you have to light up um, with a lighter uh, the charcoal disc and then this one will actually um, burn along with the charcoal and it actually works then as you would use your incense incense cone or your incense sticks so yeah and it really smells nice it's it's it, ha it has a musky smell but also that freshness of pine so yeah really really cool and then our last item i think yes our last item is of course the candle because we didn't have our candle yet again a huge one from 180 milliliters is called shaman which is of course uh, the witchy um, name of halloween um, we have on the label pumpkins and candles slit um, and this is tonka, sage, honey, and spices. Hmm, curious how that will smell. Ooh. Ah, it smells very herb-like. And I love that because, yeah, as a witch, you work a lot with herbs. Um, you definitely smell the sage. And a sweet um, hint of honey. Again, a uh, wooden wick. And, like, sugar sprinkles. And it has, like, I think, a bat and a pumpkin and some witches hats and yeah some orbs again really really cute oh, this one smells so nice if you burn this one it will have like this subtle hint um, because I, I I'm very sensitive to smell um, I love like scented candles and perfumes and stuff like that but I have to be careful that it doesn't have that it isn't like this overpowering scent because then um, I get a lot of headaches uh, so I love like these subtle scents and hints um, 
that usually the candles of both Magical Suitcase and Magic Witch House have. So yeah, really happy with this one. And with that, our box is empty already. So it's time for our spoiler card. And our spoiler card was this time shaped like, well, uh, like this. So we have like on top the witch and the broom and here we have some bats. Um, so it says, Dear Witch, Blessed Chimane, this Sabbath is fast approaching and we have prepared for the occasion. It's a box, don't wait, uh, don't wait and check what's inside. So first of all, we had uh, our Magic Witch House exclusive, a blanket with our prints. So that one is this one with the witch and the, the cute little kitty. If I get it up enough, I'm going to have to. Yes! There is a kitty. There is a kitty. <gasps> Look at the kitty. I'm a crazy cat lady in case you haven't noticed. So uh, yeah, that was our first item. I love it. It's it's very warm. Huh? I love the print. Uh, then we had our uh, item that we just ended with, our rapeseed candle. Uh, next we had our tea. This one. Uh, then we had our fun mirror. Let me see. Yeah, okay. Uh, then we had a bunch for smudging. A bunch for smudging. Next we had a bunch for smudging. So I'm going to wrap it out of its packaging again. So that was this dried herb. Um, stick actually again if you go for smudging um, be sure that you have like a fireproof dish um, in the neighborhood where you can put uh, the smudging stick on when you're done um, yeah smudging the room because um, it will keep burning and smoldering and we don't want to have a fire hazard on our hands of course then we had our uh, fun postcard. Uh, we had our photo stand. Oh, I guess that's this one that I still have to glue. So our little, it's actually for name tags, but you can also use it indeed to put a photo on it. Um, which reminds me, if I can glue this one, I can add um, on the Halloween event that I went to with my fellow writers. We made a, f a very funny, spooky like a uh, picture because we were all uh, dressed up and uh, that would be cool to put in that one uh, then we also had our painting on canvas that I love it's very pretty I'm just going to have to put the tape on the back a bit <laughs> back because uh, it was loose but yeah really really pretty canvas uh, we had our Ritual Oil, a very, very useful item. Um, we had our Forest Incense. We had our Fragrance Wax Mouths, which were these ones that came in the, the cute label. And then we had like the pumpkin and the bat in there. So that were those. And then last but not least, we had our pin, well, slash badge. And that was everything in this box. I have to admit, I liked this box a bit more than the Halloween box that I uh, unboxed in the earlier video, well, in the previous video, um, because this is indeed more witchy themed. Um, Picking favorites. Hmm. I'm going to start with honorable mentions because I just adore this badge and the postcard because again it's witchy and this one has my favorite verse of Halloween on there so really love these. Um, on the third place I'm going to put this fun mirror because again this is the first time I got a mirror for um, to use in my uh, magic so and i love just the design i love the fact that there are, are like the zodiac signs on it and the stars and the moon because again i'm a celestial witch so yeah love the mirror 
Um, on the second place, I'm going to put the beautiful canvas. Um, from which I'm sure that if my mom sees it, she will love this one too, because she's also like in this um, fantasy witchy artwork. Uh, she likes that stuff too. So that's my second place. And then my uh, first place is, and it won't surprise you, but it's very hard to show you guys on camera, the firm and very warm blanket with the witch that's holding a tiny black cat i love it i love it this one for sure is my favorite because this is the first time i actually got a blanket in a box especially of this uh, quality so um yeah winner for sure that was everything in this box and that was also my top three so uh, feel free to let me know down in the comments what you thought of this box what was your least favorite item, what was your favorite item, what was your top three, um, what do you think of this fun little blanket, um, just let me know down below. Also down below, but then in the uh, description box, I will put, of course, the link to um, the Magic Witch House website and to my previous unboxing uh, from my Halloween marathon. Um, there will also be a link to my Instagram and my blog, because, as usual, there will be lots of pictures concerning these items on my Instagram and eventually there will also be a blog post in both Dutch and English on my blog, uh, which is basically this entire unboxing but then written out. So feel free to click on those links and give me a follow there too. All I have to say then is thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a little thumbs up because it's more than you know. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys soon for another bookish, magical, spooky and probably also the last entry in this Halloween marathon video. Bye!